So the first thing we're going to do is get the man's kitchen key, which is right next to the vestige of Brother Jeremiah. We're just going to run out to the courtyard and deal with the big dude out here, and he'll drop it. So once we have the key from that guy, we're going to run into this door right behind him. You're going to need it to unlock it. So yeah, if it's locked, just beat him and get the key. And so when you're in here, be careful. There is going to be one of the items that moves around and it will be a ravenous fascinator, aka the mimic things. So yeah, just make sure you don't fall for that. And then we're going to go upstairs. And now we need to enter the humble realm so we can cross right here. The path we want to take is hidden behind all these breakable objects, so just go ahead and roll around a bit. So to the left will be an item you can grab, it's going to be an ammunition type item. So you can go grab that if you want, but if you want to progress we're going to go right. It looks suspiciously safe to jump down there, but maybe another time. Not much on this roof, honestly, so just loot whatever you want and then just keep going. Once we go into this room, we can exit the Umbral Realm. Didn't seem like there was nowhere else to go but down, so just jump down and we can actually grab a shortcut real quick on the right side of the room. So I cleared out the room because they were annoying me, so I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna go up some stairs. And I'm gonna go on the left side of the stairs because you can go left or right. But yeah, I'm gonna go left and go forward and run outside. So right where I picked up that shield, I'm just gonna turn around and there was a ravenous fascinator right here. It was like a mimic thing. So be careful picking that up. Make sure you soul flay it. That way it don't eat you. And yeah, use your lamp to go through that door I just went through. You can unlock this for a small shortcut real quick. And just keep going. We're going to be able to get a few more shortcuts real quick. On the left is going to be a ladder. This will be leading you back to the vestige if you go down there. And then we can open up a door up here as well. You're going to notice I'm in the Umbral Realm now. But anyways, I'm going to go to the right. After we get that shortcut. I did clear out a lot of enemies, but there's still going to be some more. So you'll notice on the left, you can use your lamp to get past there. Since I'm in the Umbral Realm, I can see it just open. And yeah, there'll be a stigma down there. You can go scan it real quick if you want some scourings and some flower beds if you want to make a rest point. So at this point I was getting very low on resources so I'm gonna show you where to go to get back to the vestige and we're also gonna pick up a fist weapon on the way. So we need a key, we don't have it yet, so we're going to go to the right instead. You can just roll through here, and then you either use your lamp, or since I'm in the Umbral Realm, I can just go through, which I mean, like I said, I was low on resources, and these guys are blocking my path, so I was like, I'm totally done right here. I somehow survived, thankfully. I love the ignition on this sword. But yeah, if you pick this up, this will be the fist weapon, and then you can unlock one more shortcut, and then let's just get back to the vestige real quick.
I know, I cheated that like three times right there. To head back from the shortcut we just got, we're gonna be turning around and just going right. And then careful, there's gonna be a crossbow dude up here. And so just roll past them or deal with them, whatever you wanna do. And then to the left will be the gate we just got. And so you're gonna wanna destroy one of these boxes and then use your lamp to get through, unless you just go into the umbral realm. So up these stairs, you're gonna be able to go right to fight a boss, or you can go left and then left will give you two paths, which you should take the right path real quick because it's just like one enemy and then you can get a ring real quick. After grabbing the ring, we're going to go back a little and just head to the other room, and there will be a shortcut we can grab. So yeah, just push down the ladder, and then we're going to actually have to enter the Umbral Realm. That way, it'll spawn a ladder that we can actually use to keep going. So up here we want to turn around and we want to land on like this little wooden cross thing. That looks kind of like the weapon. And from here we want to just kind of keep going forward and land on that platform. And then just kind of make our way towards this back over here. So unlock that gate and then we're going to jump down and we can unlock this gate down here and then we're going to run to the altar and grab the key. So after grabbing the key, I'm in the same area, I just ain't in the umbral realm anymore. So we can grab another shortcut on the right. That's just a previously explored area, and so on the opposite side is one more shortcut, but it's also leading to where we want to go anyways. And so now that we're back outside, we're closer to the Vestige, which is nice because we have that key. And so yeah, you can open this door, and then we're going to run back up and open the other door that was across that little path. And so in here will be a saintly quintessence, so you can upgrade your healings. But remember, you're going to have to lock onto it, so I recommend taking out these guys because you don't want to lock onto them. Because there are going to be two reapers in here trying to murder you, so yeah.
I'm very thankful for iframes right here. So on the right side, there's going to be one of those things that let you exit the Umbral Realm. But honestly, there's going to be too many enemies in the way to where it's going to be like enemies are near. And so it's not going to let you use it. Like I try it right here, but it's just too close. So instead, I'm just going to run straight to the boss. After the boss, I'm just going to make a vestige, like a rest here. So starting from the vestige I just made, I'm going to be going to the left so I can get on the elevator. Up here, we are going to need to go into the Umbral Realm so we can pull down this platform and that way we can get across right here. But be careful, there will be a dude shooting some projectiles at you on the right side. And he is close to like one of those exploding things, so yeah, try not to hit it. I'm just going to walk off right here because you're really not going to take that much fall damage if you don't use the ladder. And then this guy's next to more exploding thingies, so you need to just use the lamp take them out so this platform I'm on we're gonna move it to the opposite side by coming over here and then soul flaying it you don't have to walk onto it while it's moving you can still just roll also yeah watch out for this bucket head over here it's like hiding behind the breakable stuff and you want to roll onto here from where I just was so you can get the sterolium chunk since these are pretty rare because they're needed to max out your weapons so we are going to have to go back up the ladder if we want to get more stuff, but first we can get one more thing down here. It's just we're going to have to soul flay this platform towards us so we can cross it. And then, yeah, it's just going to be some large Duralium shards, but still you might as well grab them real quick. And then now we want to go back up the ladder. So this platform is still on this side that we pulled it to, so we just kind of leave it there. And we're going to want to go where it was and just fall down. Now we can get this chest for a rebirth chrysalis, which is also rare and lets us respec. Anyways, after grabbing that, we're going to be able to fall down even further. And there's going to be a stigma we can soul play in here, and this actually gives us a key item which is this Perception Wisp. You'll get it after you finish listening to that stigma. And so now we're just gonna keep heading even further down. We're almost at the bottom, which will allow us to get a shortcut pretty soon. From here you can just exit the Umbral Realm and then we just run straight to a door. That way if you do die down here you can literally just walk back through the door and you're going to be at the bottom right here. Really quick, you should grab the rune tablet in this room because it's going to be needed to finish the blacksmith quest which will allow you to have three sockets on your weapons. So yeah, it's just right in this chest. So just make sure you grab that at least. Now we're gonna go down this ladder. I mean, I think you just jump through the hole in the middle, but there is a ladder. There can be a few crossbow dudes trying to shoot you, so just be aware.
Also, more enemies that are down here are the poison dude, the boss you fought like before you walk into this whole tower. And say, just be aware of all that poison. Even when you kill them, sometimes they get back up with no HP and just try and blow up on you and spread poison everywhere. Starting where I just picked up that ring, I just want to clear out the room a bit so I have an easier time recording. And so just turn this corner and then you can actually use something to knock down this item. Ends up being a weapon. And so we're just gonna keep going and we actually need to pull down this lever now. And yeah, there's not a lot of shortcuts in this area. So we're just gonna have to keep going down further and further. So the lever moves those gates out of the way. So now we can go down there. There's a tent over here. It's like a purple one, which is kind of nice. And so yeah, grab that if you want it. And then we're gonna wanna go down another ladder hiding over here. Obviously there will be more enemies. So yeah, just defeated them beforehand. And then yeah, another lever, moving some more gates so we can keep going. So we're almost on the last floor finally. After I deal with that guy, we're gonna wanna pull this lever and we can finally get down to the last one. Like the other floors, you will get attacked as soon as you get down to it. So at the altar, we can enter the Umbral Realm and then turn around. To our left will be a ladder that we can climb and it'll lead us to a saintly quintessence to upgrade our heals. Ivan. Ivan. Hmm? Passed out for a moment. After this, we are going to head to the boss. Second. I wouldn't change a thing. Not even the capture and the torture. Hi. <laughs> I'm all right. Maybe that. We can leave the Umbral Realm right here. And then the boss will be on the left. Like always, if you fight the boss, you won't be able to summon anyone. But on your second go around, there will be companions you can summon. I always use Pieta. Although I never summoned Stoneman, so I don't know how good he is. I just love Pieta's AoE heal too much. 
After defeating the boss, we will get Tancred's key, and now we can head back and head up an elevator that will allow us to get to a new area of this tower. Remember to get the Remembrance, that way you can get the boss weapons if you want them. So we're just going to backtrack to the previous room, where we fell down to the final floor down here. There's a door we can use the key on, which leads us to the elevator. So there's a bunch of levers in here and yeah the arrows pretty much show you what they do so the down one we can't use because we are on the very bottom floor this one if the elevator's not here all it's going to do is summon the elevator and then so all we can do is go up so we're going to go up twice and then that will take us to the very top floor So this first one drops us off where I originally planted that seed, but we still want to go up one more time. And up here is a beacon. <laughs> 